The Israel-Palestine conflict has had a profound impact on various regions worldwide, including Africa. The conflict has exposed stark divisions and fueled contentious debates among nations and communities, leaving the continent grappling with complex questions surrounding foreign policy, solidarity, and regional stability. While some African nations, such as South Africa and Algeria, have declared full solidarity with Palestine, others like Kenya have aligned with Israel's position. The divisions highlight each government's attempt to compartmentalize their interests and underline some countries' strengthening ties with Israel. The conflict has also affected the African economy, with African countries facing higher costs from a war they didn't start. The conflict has led to gatherings and protests across Africa, with mosques, public squares, city centers, Palestinian diplomatic offices, Muslim communities, and Israeli embassies or consulates being likely gathering locations. The conflict has also impacted the gold price, with international gold prices rising on uncertainty due to the Israel-Palestine war. The disparity between the economic ambitions and political allegiances of several African nations has become increasingly apparent amid the ongoing Israel-Palestine conflict. While Israel has managed to cultivate a presence in a traditionally pro-Palestine continent, its influence remains constrained. As the Israel-Gaza conflict persists, Africa finds itself polarized over the issue of supporting Palestine. African leaders have been united in condemning the violence and the ongoing Israel-Palestine conflict, but remain deeply divided over who is to blame. Following the unprecedented attack on Israel by the militant group Hamas, a number of African leaders issued statements reacting to the violence, but even they couldn't agree on whether to call it terrorism or war. Kenya's President William Ruto was the first to express solidarity with Israel, while Algeria declared full solidarity with Palestine. The African Union Commission under Musa Mohamed Faki expressed concern over the violence and blamed the denial of the fundamental rights of the Palestinians, calling for a two-state solution. The international community must unite to hold the individuals and entities responsible for the heinous terrorist acts accountable and swiftly bring them to justice, while the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ghana, and Zambia have expressed support for Israel South Africa has attributed the conflict to Israel's alleged illegal occupation and desecration of religious sites in the region. The African Union Commission has expressed concern over the violence and called for a two-state solution. The UN has also called for boosting African member states' capacity to address the underlying conditions conducive to terrorism strengthen criminal justice responses to terrorism, and counter the financing of terrorism. The UN has also emphasized the importance of prevention measures and cooperation to counter terrorism. The Strategic Framework for Countering Terrorism has recognized terrorism and targeted violence as intertwined and interrelated problems, necessitating a shared set of solutions. The unfolding atrocities in the Middle East have led to a complex response from various African governments, reflecting a contrast in their allegiances. While some nations have strengthened their ties with Israel, others maintain historical affiliations with the Palestinian cause, rooted in their shared struggles against colonial oppression in the 1960s. The fallout from the October War of 1973 led to the severance of ties between Israel and the Organization of African Unity, with Algeria emerging as a vocal critic of Israel. However, recent geopolitical shifts have seen a significant change, with 44 of 54 African countries recognizing Israel's statehood and nearly 30 establishing diplomatic missions in Tel Aviv. Israel's demonstrated agricultural expertise has particularly resonated with many African nations grappling with severe environmental challenges, thereby fostering stronger connections. The details of the Israel-Palestine conflict have exposed the nuanced positions and divisions within the African continent, echoing the recent divergence in stances following Russia's intrusion into Ukraine in early 2022. A clear message resonates, calling on the United States and its allies to relocate their unwavering support for Israel to American soil. The pointed suggestion to transport the Israeli population to various American regions like the Midwest, Wisconsin, Seattle, or New York underlines the intensity of the sentiment. 
Amidst this growing tension, the potential for political considerations to intertwine with trade relations is looming. While South Africa remains a critical trading partner for Israel within the African continent, mounting pressure from civil society groups is urging the government to adopt a more pronounced stance in favor of Palestine. Notably, in 2022, South Africa's parliament passed a resolution to potentially downgrade diplomatic ties and its embassy in Israel if the continued Gaza bombardment by Israel escalates to a ground invasion. Anticipations persist that such calls for action will only amplify in the future. So, what do you think of our video? Has the Israel-Palestine conflict caused divisions within the African community, in your opinion? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, do subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.